this. It is truly becoming spring. My tulips are blooming. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but the creeping phlox are getting little buds on them. Everything's coming up. My roses are looking good over here. And then my hyacinths are also blooming. Those are over here. I only have a couple of them. They look pretty pathetic. They haven't been doing very well. I don't know why. But they're pretty. They're blooming. They're flowers. That's cool. And then I have a few more tulips over here. That looks like things are coming in real nice over here. So spring is finally here. So excited. I look at the trees. They're all budding. I don't know if you can see that or not. We are out on a walk and we found this new park. Big playground. And then the river is over there. You can see the river over there. And then there's a walking trail. So we're going to go figure out where it goes. Here's the river. Okay. Look at that. It must have been paved at one time. Look at that. So is this actual Mississippi? This is the Mississippi, I, th I believe. The Mississippi. The water seems really low. It does. Well, we've had very dry spring. This is true. It's supposed to be snow raining today and tomorrow and Wednesday. Yeah? Yeah. I saw tomorrow. All righty. Yeah, I think it is, or is this the Minnesota? I don't know. It's one of the two, but they're both about the same size. And I mean, as in like width and stuff. Because they both meet. No, they think this is. Ooh, here's another full little trail. Little trail. We checking it out. Hopefully, we don't find any dead bodies. Beer and there's a trail that goes all the way down there. <laughs> I almost died Head into the water. Wow, this is quite the bank, isn't it? It is. And it floods all the time. Yeah. Wow. That is craziness. Do you think we dare go down this trail? Why not? It's not like it's not been used. Do you want to go first? Or you want I can go first unless you want me to well, focus video. on your butt. I, well, you know. <laughs> Whew. You might get more hits on you. Workout resumed. If you shake it a little bit. Shake it. <laughs> hey, Carrie, you can come in here and make yourself some grapevine wreaths. Yeah. There's all this stuff for it. I've been really you know, wanting some of those. That, that's on my list of things to do. <laughs> so we. Whoa. Whoa. There's a chipmunk. It's a ginger chipmunk. It's a red one. Red haired. So I went and just got. I gave Emily a little hair trim. Oh, there's the blue tray. I hair trim last night after doing her, straightening her hair. Yep. Went to go scatter it out there. Something was freaking moving around out there, oh, Carrie. No. And it was dark. No. Freaked me out. I was so glad I had my shoes on. Yeah. Oh. Oh, looks like we're going in. Looks like, up. oh yeah, there's a little trail over there. I thought maybe it was a dead end. It's kind of a big open space. It is. It's pretty cool. It is. Under a runoff area, but look at this view from over here. It's all pretty and green. Isn't that pretty? I'd like to have a little stream like this behind my house. Yeah. So we're on the state trail now. We're trying to see how far it goes and what it does. There's a cool brick something up here. Well, look, there's even wordage. I doubt it. Yeah, look at that cool. What is it, Gary? What I is have no it? No idea. An old bridge footing? Oh, maybe. Lime. Building a community with bricks. Brick old brickyard. Brick huh. Same. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So 1876. 1876. They got the clay from the river floodplain. Huh. They put them in drying sheds. Wow. Look at that. It's got like a turret thing. Nope. Oh, 
Oh, that part of the kiln. Well, why is it so down in there? I suppose. They keep it hotter, I think. Uh, oh, they, they dump the chunks of limestone. That's pretty cool. They dump onto the top. And oh. then there was a gate. And the heat from the fire and the sides of the kiln converted the limestone to powder. The bricks line the kiln to prevent it from disintegrating. A worker then shoveled the lime powder into barrels. So they actually, the this is so low. Because oh. the fire was down here and the limestone would be here and then it would fall through and they'd get the powder. Wow. From here. So that's why I think these are so low. That makes sense. Here's a picture of oh, yeah. what it used to look like. And here's a diagram of the kiln. Kiln? Kiln. Kiln itself. Very cool. You got a little history lesson for the day, too. Yeah. We're pioneers were exploring. We're pioneers. Where's my kayak? <laughs> oh, there's a duck. Oh, there he is. <gasps> there's two ducks. <gasps> Here's some duckies. Bye bye. This has got to be gorgeous in the middle of the summer. Oh, yeah. Nice and cool. We got to remember that for those hot days and we got to walk. Yes. <laughs> or in the fall when all the leaves are turning. Oh, fall. yeah. So, I've been wanting to open a campground and the Carrie and I stumbled upon a campground. A ghost campground. A ghost campground. Look, it's got the markers. It's got a bathhouse over there, which is looking pretty nasty. But, I mean, it's obviously not been used for quite some time, but it's not. Because the underbrush isn't that bad. No. Not a whole lot of trees, no, but this is cool. In the city. Yeah. Huh. This is so cool. It goes back here quite a ways. It does. Huh. We're gonna have to look up the history and find out what the deal with it. Right. Here's another bathhouse, and this looks like it's the end of the campground. That was a pretty big campground. I wonder how many sites it has. So here's the building that goes with it. Looks like it's Shakopee Valley RV Park. RV Park and Campground. Huh. Saturday morning and grandma and grandpa have come up to help us cut down this tree in the backyard. We already have a strap hooked up to the four-wheeler and grandpa's ready to start the procedure of cutting down the tree. So the plan is to take each little section down at one, one at a time, because it's such a big tree, and it is too wide at the base. So we've got, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we have a chain hooked to it here, and it goes all the way down to the four-wheeler down there. And Carrie's going to be our handy-dandy four-wheeler operator. And I'm just going to stand around and do nothing, because that's my job. Here we go.
think she's so nervous with him standing on a ladder with a chainsaw. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not happy about it. Number two. Helping us out, just happened to be here. He's up in the tree, hooking stuff up now. <laughs> so here's our 12th car. See the chairs? Emily and Jazzy were both sitting on those chairs. It would have been smushed to smithereens. <laughs> Way down. Someone back here. 
Yes, you are. Could be a Christmas tree right there. All right, so we took Zoe girl to go to her lacrosse. We get there and we get an email within a minute saying it's been canceled. So what does the person supposed to do because of rain storms? The mall. The mall. So it's an Emily's request. An Emily's request. So here we are at the Eden Prairie Mall. Yeah. Yeah. We're at the Eden Prairie Mall. Zoe has been buying a a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, look at my outfit. Oh yes. There's the outfit. And the glasses. Rose gold aviators. I got the same glasses. Emily has yeah. the same glasses. So we are gonna go get some lunch. Then we're gonna do Kohl's and the shoe store. Yeah. And then we're done. Alright. Well that's the Kohl's you put we're looking at Kohl's for the suit. Okay. 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 So now we're gonna go get some lunch. Toodles! <laughs> so he's standing as a mannequin. Ah. <laughs> Alright. I don't like that mannequin. <laughs> That's a sassy mannequin. Your outfit's like really weird. <laughs>